Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode, number 632, we're right smack dab in the middle of UK Trivia Week. Today's trivia quiz is Scotland. The picture you see right here is some viewers when they were on a camping trip in Scotland. They sent me these pictures. There's some great ones at the end also. Thank you guys for watching today. Good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. The natural enemy of the lion, which was a symbol famously adopted by English royals for around 100 years before, in the late 1300s, Scotland's King Robert adopted what creature as the national animal? The answer is the unicorn. Question number two. In 2018, it spanned 25 days and featured more than 55,000 performances of 3,548 different shows in 317 venues. Held annually in Edinburgh, what is the name of the world's largest arts festival? It is called the Festival Fringe or the Fringe Fest. Question number three. What is the name of the popular breed of rustic cattle commonly associated with Scotland that is found in the mountains throughout the country and the Outer Hebrides that has long horns and a shaggy coat? The answer is appropriately the Highland Cow. Question number four. Flown from Scottish government buildings every day from 8 a.m. until sunset, the flag of Scotland, also known as St. Andrew's Cross or the Saltier, only has two colors. What are they? The answer is blue and white. Question number five, a bright orange citrus flavored fizzy drink with an interesting ginger kick. What is the carbonated soft drink made in Scotland since 1901 that is often described as Scotland's other national drink besides whiskey? That soda pop is called Iron Brew. Question number six. Originated in the Highlands and first mentioned in Scotland in 1538, it's a fabric made up of horizontal and vertical stripes in different colors on a colored background. What is the name of the famous Scottish pattern? Lots of their clothes and kilts are formed with it. It is tartan. Question number seven. What is the name of the savory pudding containing sheep's heart, liver, lungs, minced with onions, oatmeal, suet, spices, and salt mixed with stock and cooked while traditionally encased in the animal's stomach? It sounds savory. The answer is haggis. Question number eight. The Hogwarts Express used by Harry Potter and his friends is famously seen crossing the 21 arched Glenfinnan Viaduct in several of the movies. What is the name of the actual train in Scotland used for those scenes? That train is called the Jacobite or the Jacobite Steam Train. Question number nine. 
now married to co-star Kit Harington, what is the name of the Scottish actress who played Gwen Dawson in the ITV drama series Downton Abbey and Egret in the HBO fantasy series Game of Thrones? Her name is Rose Leslie. Question 10. The band members claim that the earnings from the song are about five times the rest of their entire catalog combined. What Scottish duo wrote and performed the tune, I'm Gonna Be 500 Miles? That band is the Proclaimers. Question number 11. Located at the western end of the Grampian Mountains on the highland region of Lokobar and standing over 4,400 feet above sea level, what is the highest mountain in Scotland and in the United Kingdom? The answer is Ben Nevis. Question number 12. Although the current political borders vary slightly, what was the name of the defensive fortification erected in AD 122 to separate the Roman province of Britannia from Scotland? That fortification is called Hadrian's Wall. Question number 13. With 282 of them on the Scottish Mountaineering Club official list ready to be bagged, what is the term used in Scotland that is defined as a mountain with a height over 3,000 feet? The answer is a Monroe. Question 14. To be called Scotch Whiskey by law, it must have a minimum alcoholic strength of 40% alcohol by volume and be distilled and matured in Scotland in oak casks for at least how many years? Legally, to be called Scotch Whiskey, it has to mature for three years. Question 15. Which famous Scottish knight became one of the main leaders during the First War of Scottish Independence, defeating an English army at the Battle of Stirling Bridge in September of 1297? The answer is William Wallace. Question 16. Often referred to in England as the Coronation Stone, what is the name used in Scotland for the oblong block of red sandstone that has been used for centuries in the coronation of the monarchs of Scotland? The answer is the Stone of Scone, or the Stone of Destiny. Question 17. Predating Stonehenge by a couple of thousand years, what is the name of the arrangement of standing stones placed in a cruciform pattern with a central stone circle on the west coast of Lewis in the Outer Hebrides in Scotland? The answer is the Colonish Stones, or the Colonnay Standing Stones. Question 18. 
With ancient castles, glistening sandy beaches, and spellbinding heritage, what scenic route in Scotland starts and ends at Inverness Castle and has been voted one of the most beautiful coastal touring routes in the world? That route is the North Coast 500. Question 19. Founded in the 13th century, Urquhart Castle played a role in the wars of Scottish independence in the 14th century. This popular castle's ruins sits in the highlands on the shores of what lake? The answer is Loch Ness. And question 20. Originally a simple farm accommodation for itinerant workers, what is the term for the open shelters usually found in remote locations of Scotland where hikers and explorers may use them free of charge? The name of those cabins are called Bothies or Bothy. All right, like I said at the very beginning of this episode, these guys right here are viewers of the channel and when they were up hiking in Scotland, they watched some of the trivia quizzes. I told them to send me some pictures and I would throw them up on the Scotland trivia. So they sent me this one right here, this awesome picture. I love it. These video clips are from when I was in Scotland. Oh, man, it was probably just a couple weeks before they were. I uh, went up with a small group and we got to go see some really beautiful stuff never been to Scotland before while these quizzes are coming out while the UK trivia is playing we're actually gonna go do the tri peak challenge so we're hiking Ben Nevis the tallest one in Scotland and then the tallest peak in England and the tallest peak in Wales and we're gonna try to do it in 24 hours most of that is driving it's several hours in between each peak but if we can get up and down then you start first thing in the morning and you go through the you know like all night so it'll be pretty interesting hopefully I'll have lots of cool pictures to share with you when we get done with it but that right there that is Scotland and this is question 21 the tiebreaker for today's Scotland trivia what is the word used in Scotland for the celebration of the last day of the year that is synonymous with the celebration of the first day of the new year That word is Hogmanay. It's a celebration, uh, some sort of holiday. Hogmanay. H-O-G-M-A-N-A-Y. <laughs>